or just the visual. So we're only going to take that data, all of those numbers and units and columns, and we're going to turn it into something that just sort of gets to the point of what we were trying to ask, which is how do volume and mass affect density? What is their relationship? So we're going to do a graph which shows the different objects and their densities. So we can see what happens when you make something bigger or when you make it smaller or when you add mass to it. So the first thing that we do with the graph is to draw the axes. So they're already done here, but I'll just highlight them. First, we'll draw a nice straight line using a straight edge for the Y axis. Then, using a straight edge to draw a nice straight crisp line, the X axis, X and Y axis. Now we need to give it a title, and the title is simply what is being compared in the graph. And in this case, it's the different objects to their densities. So instead of title, the densities of different objects. The densities of different objects. So down here, instead of x-axis, we'll have objects. And on the y-axis, we'll put densities. You have to tell what these things are measured in, so we need to put our units. The unit that we'll use for density is grams per cubic centimeter. So grams per centimeter cubed. There isn't a good uh, unit for objects, so we'll just say that they're items. So, we're going to have different items, object 1 to 7. We will have different densities in grams per cubic centimeter. So, next, we have to figure out what was the highest density and what was the lowest density and make a nice scale on the y-axis. In my case, I had a density that was about 4.3, so I want to make it from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by halves. If you have 4, or the maximum, say, 3.2, then you'd probably want to go from 0 to 4. We want to make it visual, so we want to make sure that our bars take up most of the space, not just empty space. So, I went up by half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. I could have gone up by other units, but that's the one that spreads it out and makes it the most readable. Down on my x-axis, I put down all of the different objects. The cube, the plastic cube, the choice cube, and the boat. And then, again, take a nice straight edge and make your bars. You don't have to color them, but using a ruler is going to be two points. Now the aluminum foil boat, there's not much there. It's right on the edge, especially for some people who have big boats. There's really hardly anything in those boats but air. So that's why the density was so super low because we had filled our boat with a lot of air, which doesn't have a lot of mass. And then we have water and the crushed boat. So what happened? Will the boat float? Well, it depends on the boat. What is it floating in? Let's make a line right here at water. Water is one gram per milliliter or one 
gram per centimeter cube, because they're the same, remember. So anything that is, let's do this in purple, anything that's more dense than water sinks, and anything that's less dense than water floats. So what happened to our aluminum foil boat when we crushed it? The density went up. What happened to the aluminum foil, the aluminum foil boat when we spread it out into the shape of a boat? Well, it floated. What happened to the aluminum if we were to crush it completely down to the point where it was a solid cube? Well, we've crushed it so much that the density goes way up. And you can tell with the plastic cubes that we have the same cube, so they have the same mass and the same volume. If we increase the volume by adding more and more cubes, it increases the mass equally. So the density is the same. So something sinks when it's more dense than water. Something floats when it's less dense than water. That can be applied to everything that we talk about this year. When hot air rises up, sinks. That's weather. When warm water rises and cool water sinks, that's oceanography. When warm rock rises and cool rock sinks, that's geology. All of these things have to do with earth science.